super high and high rises are more popular now than ever. So tonight we're giving you a look inside a $100 million apartment to find out the hidden secrets of luxury real estate. Try not to knock anything over. Here's ABC's Rebecca Jarvis. We're about to head 1,000 feet up in the air to this multi-million dollar penthouse. It's gorgeous, especially on a day like this. Multi-million dollar view. We are at the, uh, the 89th floor of the Trump Tower in Chicago. It's extreme high-rise luxury, where clouds and airplanes are your neighbors, and you'll literally feel on top of the world. The very first time I looked at it, uh, I just fell in love with it. This software mogul purchased the penthouse for a cool $17 million. The east views are our favorite. You can see how the river kind of meets into the lake. But he's not alone. High-rise real estate is booming. In Boston tonight, this penthouse at the new Millennium Tower is currently for sale at $37.5 million. And in New York, one of the largest real estate transactions ever. This penthouse of the new 157 building sold for a record-breaking $100 million. Hello, this Noble. That's where we met real estate broker Noble Black. He's in the middle of several multi-million dollar deals. No, it's crazy. You never know what any day is going to be like. It can be a you know, last minute meeting with the developer one hour, uh, the next hour you have to meet and you have to show a listing uptown, you have to be downtown to meet with the buyer, show them properties. There's always something new, there's always something exciting. No two days are alike. Today he's taking us inside 157, that record setting apartment. 157 appeals to somebody that wants two things. They want to have fantastic views and they want to have hotel services. Um, and they really do a great job of capturing those buyers. You've got views that are, you know, upwards of you know, 900, 1,000 feet in the air, so really spectacular views. The building is 1,005 feet tall and is also home to a luxury hotel. The minute-long elevator ride opens to spectacular views and pure luxury around every corner. Wow. So here we are, 58 feet. And there you have that view. Beyond those spectacular views, you also get space, and lots of it, including his and hers closets. What does $28.5 million get you? In this apartment, $28.5 gets you about 4,300 square feet. It gets you three bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms. Each bedroom has hidden treasures. Here, it's eyeshadow. The walls here apparently Jamie mixed in women's eyeshadow to give it. Eyeshadow? Yeah. I want to know which brand. I'll, I'll find out Was for the you. Chanel? You may have to buy the apartment to find <laughs> out. But and then there's the master bedroom, which features panoramic views of the city. Not a bad view to wake up to, huh? No, not bad at all. It's nice that there are shades in case you need that privacy if you in want here. The privacy, although no one can <laughs> see into your bedroom, right? It's time to get down to business, and Noble shares his secret to moving these luxury properties. How do you sell an apartment like this? Buildings like this and apartments like this have filled people for different reasons. So a lot of people are very attracted to the views. Um, a lot of my buyers really want as tall a building because they want as high a view as they can get. But there is controversy. This month, the New York Times reporting that some foreign investors are using these high-rise apartments as offshore tax havens. You mentioned creative financing. So I've been hearing about more financing happening with groups. So a big group of investors come together, they say, we want to put our money into an apartment sure. in this building, and they all come together as a collective and pool their money. I think that's probably gotten more press than what the reality actually is. Um, I've heard of some similar story with that. I've not seen any of that, and of all of the apartments that I've sold myself, I've not had those people coming in to be the purchasers. And these properties are going fast. Last year, the luxury real estate market saw a 19% spike. How would you describe the ultra high-end market right now in New York City? You know, anecdotally, I'm busy. I had a fantastic 2014, everything's looking great for 2015, and the people that I talk to are very excited about the year. Um, so I see no reason that we don't continue having the, the street that we've had. Back in Chicago, for tech entrepreneur Sanjay, the appeal of living 1,300 feet up in the air is more than those breathtaking views. You know, if uh, you follow the, uh, 
the technology world, everything is about the cloud. Everything's moving to the cloud. And that's, you know, where I make my living. So I thought this would be a great metaphor for living in the cloud. For Nightline, I'm Rebecca Jarvis in New York.